Hi, so I sent this task by um, Fatima. Um, it's clearly a, a, a college assignment in some shape or form, but it's been an interesting one. Um, it's a game. Um, table, starting, stopping point, randomised numbers in the middle, rules are here, so 32 faces. You, you know the task. I'll leave that there for a sec. Now, the thing, simplest way to think about this is to treat, is to use this method and to treat this table as a, a, a single element, single element, one-dimensional array. So that's position zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. So this becomes a long list of values. Once you've got your head around that, it's a fairly simple um, problem to solve. So let's have a look at it. Um, the calculation is if I roll a five, it's all the values up to that point, gives you the score, and you carry on for that place. There's only one marker, one token, and you start from that position, and you carry on working until you get to the end, and then the person with the highest score wins. That's how I understood the game. So hopefully I've got it right. So here's my, uh, my code. I'm setting up my initial variables. Got my array here of 32 um, spaces, 0 to 31. Set my initial scores and then I populate the game board. So if I look at my populate game board, that's all it is. Okay, it's just gonna populate the value using this random between function that I've written to give a random number between um, five and one or one and five. Now if we look at that random function, we needed some of our values to be negative, so this is my bit that deals with my random numbers. And I just throw an extra bit in here like a coin flip. So if that number between 0 and 1 is a 0, it's going to multiply it by 0 point, multiply it by minus 1 to make it a negative. So it will randomly generate positive and negative numbers to put in that table. And we can have a look at that in a second. So then we go into the game. The first player's move is randomised between uh, 1 and 5, I think. Oh, like that. Um, 1 and 6, sorry. Then we output the, the, the move and we do the score, we work out the score. So if we look at the do score function, again, this is fairly straightforward. You can see I'm doing a loop from the counter starting point to the counter starting point plus your move, so that's along the table. If I have to be at the last position, which is the X, I add 10, otherwise I just add up each of those values as we go along. Back to my main. So you'll notice the first player, first go is outside of the loop. That's because all the subsequent goes starting with player two are a maximum, you enter it, a maximum of what their version was plus a maximum of one. So we can see inside the loop, we do player two first. Followed by player one. So they're the two turns. A few things to look at. Here I'm making sure that the, the legal move doesn't include you going over the maximum number of spaces left. So that's this bit here. But you've got to remember the a legal move is a number that's bigger than one but less than the play previous player's move plus one. A little bit complicated that bit, but that's what makes it interesting. It was a good, a good task. So we've just got a bit of statement at the end to see who wins. So if I go through each individual piece of code slowly, so you can see each bit. Remember, you can pause it so you can copy it. Okay, that's the first part of the game. It's a bit. It took a little bit long, but I'm sure there's more efficient ways of doing it, but it works. There we go. There's my do score. There's my populate the game board. And there's my run between. So let's have a look at the game. Let's run it. Just pop that there. Bring up the 
the score table. Okay. So player one's moved us four. They've got one, two, three, four. So they've got the points up to that point. So it's four plus minus three plus minus one. So the score's got to be zero. Two, six. No, score will be two. Yep, score's two. So I can have a go up to, their move is four, so I can have up to five. So if I try six, it's an illegal move. Five is a valid move. And you can see our score would have been from this point up to this point. And I've ended up with minus six. I've not checked these. I'm assuming this is working correctly. It, it seems to work out. Keep going through. So we'll have because I'm position nine, like, so I'm going to have a four, and then I'll have a five for that one. You can see the markers going up. I can have, have a three. Their markers on 21. I can have up to four, so I'll have four. This time I'll have five, which takes me on to marker 30. There's only one space left, remember. So if I have three, so it's a legal move. Two, not enough space for two. One is my last space. Oh, I've got an error. Let's find out what that error is. Okay, that should have fixed it. I uh, I forgot to check the position of the counter um, when I'm doing my scoring. So now I've got, while the count is less than 32, it will do the scoring, otherwise it's not going to do any scoring. So let's just start that again. So... Slight change. Here's our. If it comes in this time, I've got to check if the card's less than 32 before I do the score. I'm not sticking to while loop, otherwise it'll go on forever. So let's just recheck that one last time. All should be functioning now. Get the scores up. Okay. Screen on. There we go. So. Current score, markers at position three, player two, what's your move? So I'm going to go with a four, and then we'll have a three, we'll have a two, we'll have a three, we'll have a four, we'll have a six is not an elite move, so a five is a legal move, six takes on to position 30. So if I go three, legal move, two, legal move, one should put me in my last position. And there we go. And we've got player one wins. Okay, so I've run through it a few times. Everything seems to be working. I've worked through the scores and they seem to be correct. Um, so I'll just do one last look through the code as I did make a couple of little changes just to check everything was working. So here's my main code, which is, I think I left as it was. Scroll through that. Here's my score, which is the bit that changed. This is the bit here that changed. Added the if statement in here. Pop out the game board didn't change. Ram between didn't change. Just remember about making them negative. So there you go. That was useful. Certainly difficult. That was useful. Buy me a beer.